Hatching usability and productivity in drawings were greatly improved in Creo Parametric 9.0. The first thing that you will notice when hovering over a hatched area in the drawing is that you immediately get improved boundary outline of the hatched area or component. Once you pick a specific component or area, you will immediately get a contextual ribbon to show up. This ribbon contains all the relevant hatching properties as well as new hatch gallery. The gallery lists all the hatching patterns shown as thumbnails and divided into several sections. You can control which size the thumbnails will be displayed as well as pin to the top section any patterns that are frequently used by you. Once you pick a particular pattern, it is immediately applied to the hatched item and you can see the result in the graphics area. When required, you can also adjust the scale, angle, offset and other properties directly from the ribbon. In addition to the ribbon, you can also access most of the hatching properties from the mini toolbar and the shortcut menu. In the case that the material is applied to the model and a cross hatching was defined for it, you can leverage this information and apply the material hatching as the hatching pattern in your model or drawing. Sometimes it is required to exclude some components from being hatched in order to meet standard requirements. I will show several ways on how this could be done. Here I have a shaft that I would like to exclude. However, since there could be many such components, I will define a body parameter called hatched with a value no in every component that should not be hatched. I can then leverage one of the new search tool queries in order to find, select, and exclude all the components that contains the hatch body parameter which is set to a value of no. I can also find components that meet a specific hatch property if I need it. Here I will query for all of the components which were excluded from the drawing. Another way for getting a good overview of the components that were hatched or excluded in my drawing is by using the new hatch tree. This tree will list all of the section views and will provide insights about the areas, components and bodies that are being hatched. In addition, you can also control their inclusion state directly from the tree. In the case you are editing an old XCH pattern, you will be promoted to convert it to a new pad style. Once converted, you will be able to access all of the properties. In some cases, you might want to save some time and copy the hatching properties that were applied to one view also to another view. This is now possible using the new copy hatch command. Finally, you can observe that the hatching angles of all of the components are all set to predefined subset of angles that are commonly being used. This is due to improved angle rotation algorithm which can be applied on new sections and can be controlled using a config option or by changing the relevant setting in the detailing page of the options menu.